Hello there, it's me, Azalar, and I'm here with Perks, with Luca. How did the scrims go today? <laughs> Very well. Very well? Yeah. What do you, who do you play against? I'm fortunate enough to watch a lot of the EU LCS players over the last few years, and I can guarantee you that not all of them develop, not all of them grow, not all of them challenge themselves to think outside of the box. Perks is one of those guys that is a competitor forever. Every single skill that is developed on Perks is directly related to the game, is directly related to his impact on the team in the game. And while we're seeing Perks grow off air and while we're seeing Perks grow in the social media spotlight and learn how to handle that pressure, it's also complementing his game. It's also complementing elements of his performance. Secure this bot lane tower, then obviously after the removal of lane I think mid lane. Here comes a play on a Baker exhaust and Zon keeps oh. away from the wall, not quick to get the slow. There's a flash to chase! First blood into Perks! And one of my favorite things about Perks specifically is you really, really get a sense that winning and being the best and performing, but not just for Perks, for G2, for the team, for his teammates, that's what matters. And that's something that you don't see with everybody when you want to be a superstar, a lot of people are focused on their own performance. And Perks has managed to spread that to everybody around him. Defensive flashes, Yankos has already killed him. He's winning now this. Now is turning it back around. Defensive flash from Uzi, teleports coming down. Comes Perks. Not just to find out, Perks blows up RNG and G2 win the fight. Perks is a guy, when he came from Challenger, through his performance and kind of the way he acted, you already felt that he was going to be a mainstay, a star of the European scene. And I think in the beginning, he was always very good in the mid lane, but people started to remember him more because he would always speak his mind and, and shit talk a bit here and there. And I think maybe in the long run, that hurt him a little bit because that's what people talked about the most when actually he was crushing it on the rift and slowly he worked his way up to one of the best mids we've ever seen in Europe. Sooning still sticking around, they don't want to give this away for free, but they make the call to go in and fight 4v5, it looks like they do, yes they will. Mickey's in some trouble and chance crystal arrow flies out, Sooning going in for the fight, Wonder in the middle of four people, two shot barrage coming through, finds the kill into Huang Fung. Sword Art's taking all the damage down, Mystic shot over the wall, Perks with the follow up, able to find the kill. SOFM still alive, but he's down to one third HP, he goes in, he's looking to steal the drink, but he will not be able to do it. Damage down the left, fight 10, that, is that the smoke? 10,000 damage! Wait, is that the whole game or is that last night? Because that is insane. There's no one else to follow up. Cause damage doesn't matter. The ulti comes out. It's such a close exchange. For now, they're winning, but Perks is coming in. This is his hero moment. If he wants to turn this fight in favor of team, this could be the game. He gets the fight moment. Baker is gone. Teddy's next on the list. There's no way he can duel Yasuo. Amada's coming in, but he's just walking into the meat grinder of Perks. Caught. Can he do it? Perks. They've done enough. They've done it. They're going to G2. Caught. Can he get it done? He can't. The Vladimir. They can't do it. This is it. The greatest team in the history of League of Legends. Take it down by the greatest team Europe has ever produced. FPX, get ready. G2 is heading to...